Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about the slider input option of the Shiny dashboards. So slider input is basically helpful in selecting uh, or in those scenarios where you need to select uh, or increase the values one by one kind of a if analysis. So maybe you have like sales data where you have sales values which you want to increase and wants to see how much expense is going to increase or it's like you know adjusting budgeting and expense so those kind of scenarios you basically handle with the slider apart from that it has couple of other uses also i mean in different applications so let's see how we can create it so if you have seen my previous videos where i have talked about text input and radio buttons we are going to continue to make it uh, uh, on the same code so that uh, there are not many changes and you are able to build it one by one about different objects that are present within the shiny so let's go ahead and uh, create the slider input so slider input again you need to specify very first parameter as the uh, id so maybe what we want to create is for our example number of days spent on a project so n days spent and day spent and that means number of days spent is what the id and let's write it the title as number of days spent and then here is the important part because you need to specify the minimum maximum value max minimum maximum and the value so for example let's say we want to start with one as a minimum value that you have spent one day maximum let's say 200 and let's say value or the default value we want to give is 20 that means when you run the application the slider pointer should indicate always to 20 all right let's save this first so it is showing cross that means error which is because we need to give comma over here and once we provide the comma it's fine and save and let's go into the server and handle this output output dollar and so maybe that's here we need to create a new object because whatever is coming as an input like this is need to be handled within the reactive so number of days spent so this output will going to be again uh, go here in the main panel so render text and you have input dollar and is spent all right so that's pretty much it and is showing error and maybe it is because it is expecting a close bracket we have provided it should be okay let's hit the save and it is gone and number of days is spent i'll just copy that because i need to provide this into the output panel over here so comma text output and within that number of days spent should be the minimum required configuration that you need to do for the slider input so once it is done let's hit the run application and once we hit it that's where the value the slider is so slider is starting from 1 going up till 100 as you can see and since we have provided the value 20 that means whenever the application starts slider should always be at 20 that's why it is here I can move back forth wherever I want and adjust my application and as you can see the similarly this number is getting printed so if I'm changing now to something else it is changed so that's that's the minimum basic required configuration and you can get the slider and as well as now you know how you can handle the input and output of this slider so that's the minimum thing uh, another thing i want to discuss here is how you can create a range so right now the range is basically starting from the minimum value which is one but maybe your requirement is that you want to select a range of values so for example if you have seen the shopping sites they always provide you the range 
that means you can start your range from one thousand uh, dollar or maybe one thousand rupees to ten thousand rupees or maybe hundred dollar to two fifty dollar and then limit your criteria and limit your data so that you are seeing what needs to be seen by you so how you can do that well for that let's close this and go back to our application stop this also so this is the value which is 20 that's where we need to make a small modification and we need to say that value is equals to c 10 comma 20 that means what we have done is that for value parameter we have provided a range over here which is saying that when application start it should be between 10 and 20 and when application starts it basically gives you two pointers or two uh, two widgets to basically move back and forth so let's see it in action let's hit save and run the application and now you can see that you have the option of defining the range what should be your start or what should be your end range so I can go back and forth and you can see the two different values are coming which is 23 and 67 whatever I'm changing and accordingly whatever data I will be having or the dashboard or any configuration that I have done based on that it will going to be changed accordingly so that's the uh, main thing about uh, parameter about the slider input apart from that you have many other options if I show you I mean I'll just stop this and say question mark slider input and put a show the help you have minimum maximum value step step is also a very important parameter so let's go ahead and see it in action and I'll just add a parameter which is step step is equals to 5 what it will going to do is Whenever I'm changing value from 10 to let's say next value, it will move either five step forward or five step backward. So let's save this and run the app. All right, and let's move it one by one. So 26, 31, 36, 10 to six and wherever I want to move. So, as you can see that values are moving five step up and down so there was this one issue i think you might have observed that uh, it was starting at five and ten and it was just moving one step when it was starting maybe it's like an internal thing or internal issue so maybe if i change it let's say back again to to um so maybe what we need to do is here in this case start with five and save it try to run it again let's see whether it is an internal issue it is more of a configuration issue so 10 yeah so it was because of the one that we have specified so we need to start like let's say five and then it should move in that direction properly all right so that's that's not an issue that's more of a configuration that we need to do based on how we want the step we need to start the step uh, start value also so that's that's the thing i wanted to show you there are a couple of other parameters which is again for your advanced requirement so this is the basic thing with which you can start and make pretty awesome slider input so that's pretty much all for this video and i'll meet you in a new video with a new topic